Hundreds of contract working dogs were left behind by Americans in Afghanistan. Now a former military police dog handler is trying to recover them. Yeah, but he cannot do it alone. Our Carly Petrus is following the story. So what is happening with these dogs, Carly? Well, Tom and Caitlin, these contract working dogs are hired by private companies to protect places like universities, hospitals, and embassies. They were brought over by Americans. It's a team effort to save the lives of hundreds of contract working dogs still in Afghanistan. These contract companies just tossed them like trash. I mean, they turned them loose in the streets. They turned, you know, they left them in kennels to starve to death. Contract working dogs are not the same as military working dogs. Dan O'Connor assures us that all military working dogs have been brought back with the military. The Marine Corps was very good about this. After Obama signed a bill in 2015, military working dogs are protected from being abandoned in another country. What we're trying to do is get, get the contract companies in that act so they will be held responsible to get these dogs out. A dog handler in Afghanistan reached out to O'Connor for help. What we're trying to do is get get the contract companies in that act so they will be held responsible to get these dogs out. The Taliban now owns these contract working dogs, but O'Connor says he is sure the Taliban will not care for them properly. A Rochester man and experienced Labrador trainer actually contacted me about Dan's efforts. Being in the business, I know a lot of people that and it might just take getting hold of that one person, you know, that could help him out and I guess that's what we're trying to do. As of right now, O'Connor says he and his team of handlers in Afghanistan are trying to create a kennel near the Kabul airport. He says the Taliban has been responsive to his efforts. This would make the dogs close to flights for food, supplies, and eventually out of Afghanistan. Somebody has to be held accountable for it because these are lives uh, that have, you know, played a key role and uh, will continue to and they deserve a future. For anyone looking to help, O'Connor and his team say funding is one of the biggest obstacles right now. We have all that information on our website at KTTC.com. Back to you. Let's hope some people can help. Thank you, Carly.